hello guys and welcome to automation today i'll talk about the various options the various settings present in selenium ide uh, something to note is that i cannot explain all of the settings here so i prefer you guys to go ahead and navigate if you have any questions you can just comment below and i will happily answer them for you okay so once you open selenium ide okay, let me just go ahead and open my previous test case which we are recorded okay i can copy any step control c control v i can paste it delete we delete it uh, i can even cut paste it i can move any step to any position i want in my edit window i can execute the uh, i can execute my test case at a slow speed or at a fast speed or a slow speed i can execute all test cases together called as test suit individual test cases if i click at any step and uh, if I toggle a breakpoint okay and if I run it it will go ahead and uh, run all the steps till that particular uh, step where the toggle point is there and it will stop I can then play individual steps by pressing this command or I can just play them all together by pressing resume Okay, apart from this uh, you can also when our test case is being run you can just pause it by pressing this okay apart from this uh, something important uh, in options I've got my clipboard format it is set to HTML what this means is if I copy a few steps and I paste them in my notepad it will paste it in my HTML format now, this is not that useful but uh, if I happen to choose say in java test ng web driver copy and i paste it here then yeah as you guess it will paste in a java format and to be specific this will work on my test ng uh, framework so yeah so this is a very good thing in case if i need to export my test case i can just record it here and just copy paste it in my web driver it will work Okay, apart from this uh, you can go to options in options you have got your default timeout currently it is set to 30 seconds now 30,000 milliseconds that is 30 seconds okay, what this means is if an element like I am performing these steps but in case a step is not performed because the element is not there on the page it will wait for 30 seconds it will keep trying to find the element for 30 seconds if the element is not found even after 30 seconds then it's a failure okay uh, remember your base URL what this means is uh, whichever page you are on it just saves it here automatically you don't have to do it manually so new tools new tools it's kind of automatic okay uh, record a third title it means whenever you navigate to a new website it will check automatically if the new page has been loaded or basically if the new page is title it will verify it okay uh, start recording immediately when open we have checked that already okay apart from all this okay this is important locator builders now what this means is uh, when you are recording using selenium it will try to identify all the elements in this particular order top id will go to ui then id then link then name then css the last priority will be given to xpath position what i mean to say is every element on the page uh, when I say element I mean links etc they all need to be identified they all have addresses now these addresses can be given in many in various formats so this is the priority in which these formats are taken if it cannot find the address using UI it will go to ID if ID is not unique it will go to link and so on till it finds something unique you can change them by dragging them up and down okay and uh, yeah i guess that is all what is important 
if I find anything else which is very important I will show it in my uh, further sessions thank you uh, if you have any questions kindly comment